so excited! another weekly vlog okay today is actually wednesday july 10th as y'all saw this morning brush my teeth wash my face i am currently doing laundry trying to finish up that y'all it is two o'clock in the afternoon um i'm actually quite scared because <laughs> i hope i get everything done tomorrow and the rest of this week we will be in california okay i don't know if i mentioned it on my youtube or if i mentioned it in one of my vlogs but i'm going out to california for the jasmine is a star screening at the noah con um convention this year so they're going to be screening the movie there this is my first time ever going to a noah con or a noah event if you never heard of noah noah is the national organization of albinism and I think hyperpigmentation, I believe, might be wrong. So that is the organization for people with albinism, you know, spreading albinism awareness, um, education on it, X, Y, and Z. So I'm super excited. I feel like this would probably be the first or second time I've been in a room with people that have albinism. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. Because growing up, albinism is so rare that... I usually don't even see anybody else outside of social media that has organism. So I am a little nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. I don't know how to express the feeling like being in the environment with other people that understand where you are coming from like that's the best way i can describe it because like i said having omnism is so rare that literally in reality in real life before social media even was a thing i only met two people in my entire life that had albinism okay so it is like i don't know it's like a refreshing feeling so i'm super excited i will be heading out there tomorrow with my cousin and brother so we're gonna be on that flight okay i think this is my first flight all year so i'm trying to get everything prepared for that <laughs> trying to get my work done because last week i was out of town i went back down to macon to visit my family spend fourth of july with them so i didn't do no work last week i ain't upload nothing i ain't edit nothing I ain't film nothing, okay? So I had to do some work this week, do some editing. So that is what I'm catching up on right now. Um, I'm currently done editing. So I'm gonna post on TikTok because I haven't posted on TikTok in about a month. That is my goal for today. I am also going to be taking down my mini twist. I was marinating on if I wanted to take my mini twist down to um, wear my hair out during the conference or just keep them in but i haven't worn my hair out in a while and i don't know i just feel like i want to wear my hair out so i'm gonna take my mini twist down i literally did a video that should be up to y'all tomorrow i hope um of me doing a wash day routine with my mini twist in so my hair is clean i washed it last week and then i just put my mini twist back in but i'm gonna take them out and my hair still feels pretty good i'm gonna take them out and just do my regular twist out routine just put some formal mousse in because i want my hair to dry uh, I might be looking crazy on the flight tomorrow. If I need to go with my flexi rods in, I will go with my flexi rods. I don't care. I want my hair to look good at the end of the day. And then after I'm done with that, post on TikTok. And girl, did we pack for the trip that we're going to be leaving in the morning? No, I did not. I have not packed nothing. Of course. This is not a surprise. This is not a surprise. This is not a drill. This is not a surprise. So I did not pack anything and we're supposed to be leaving and leaving out the house 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> it is dang what's going on out there i need to be in the bed like sleep by eight or nine because i have to get up at two o'clock in the morning 
and I don't want to be in a bad mood. I just want to make sure I get all my sleep, all my rest, and I'm just trying to mentally prepare for this long flight because I don't like being on a plane for a long time. But yes, I've just been working all morning, um, trying to like get my thoughts together, mentally prepare for tomorrow, answering emails, getting content up. So that's what I've been doing so far this morning or this afternoon. But I'm gonna start rambling because I need to go ahead and um, do my hair, have that done and ready. And then I haven't even eaten nothing yet, y'all. I know, that is bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then I'm gonna probably eat so I can eat and you know have my hair already done. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then after I'm done eating, we'll most likely start packing. All right, y'all, so it is a little bit later on in the evening. It is almost eight o'clock, it's 7.45. I'm getting ready to go ahead and start packing. And I need to go to bed early. I need to go to bed at least by nine o'clock because I got to get up at two o'clock, like I said, because I need to um get to this airport on time. So I think I'm gonna take my big suitcase because while I'm there, I want to try and um, get some work done and take a lot of photos videos all that good stuff so i think i'm gonna take my big little suitcase my big little suitcase my big suitcase instead of my small one like i said i am the queen of last minute packing okay but one thing about it though i never forget nothing i never forget nothing you know why because i always type every single thing that i need to put in this suitcase i type it down in my notes so i have everything that i need to be packing for this trip and I was also trying to figure out my outfits that I wanted to um, wear. I think I might take five outfits. I might be doing too much because I'm only going to be there for three days. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing. And like I said, I washed clothes. And I need to fold clothes, y'all. Y'all see this back here? No judgment. No judgment. So we are currently, dang, is this out of focus? We are currently in California, y'all. We just landed probably about two hours ago and we just got to the hotel about an hour ago. Y'all, I am tired, tired. We actually had to do a transfer. So we flew from Atlanta to Phoenix and then from Phoenix to LA. And then the hotel from the airport was a 50 minute ride. So I am tired tired but we need to get something to eat the events and the festivities start tonight so i actually have to register check in the check in and register is from 3 to 7 30 and the event actually start at 7 30. i'm trying to hurry up gather myself like re-energize we're about to go like i said we're about to go get something to eat at this restaurant called noodles and company so my cousin was talking about it so we'll try that out and um see what that is about but i do need to brush my teeth y'all because Y'all know with Invisalign, I have to brush my teeth every time I eat. And we've been traveling all day on a plane, so this is my first time after snacking all day. I ain't gonna let it happen again. All right, y'all, so we've made it back to the hotel room. We're getting ready to go down here to the opening session, which starts in like the next two hours. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna get dolled up. I was gonna do my makeup and all that stuff, but I think I'm gonna just take my hair down, take a shower, and put on some fresh clothes because I don't feel like doing my makeup and then coming back up here extra extra tired and then fighting to stay awake just to get myself ready for bed so I think I'm gonna just wear my black skirt black top I'm gonna do my yellow bag we're gonna do a little fashion a little something we'll let me put something together Ooh, we'll wear this perfume this is um a perfume by Fumi Monet she is a perfume enthusiast on TikTok or influencer in general on TikTok, Instagram. This is her perfume. I bought it to support and it actually smells really, really good. Hopefully this shower helps me feel like more awake and not relax me too, too much because I am tired. I am officially done getting ready. This is La Fit. Let me get the whole thing. Let me get the whole thing. I need to put my lip gloss on too, but this is the fit. Just a little yellow bag, white shoes, um, black skirt, black top. And I took my hair down. 
haven't worn my hair out in a while not the best twist out but you know it's giving a little something better light so y'all can see it's not the best twist out but it's giving something okay it's giving something okay and it also had like a little dryer in here so i actually have y'all on my handheld part of the tripod so excuse the angles the angles might not be angling how in the world you can't even bend that back that's crazy whoa whoa but throw on my uh gloss is the only thing i got with me right now because i'm not doing any makeup we got a fresh glam did i ever tell y'all um, i'm supposed to be going downstairs to check in for the conference and they have something with like vip and all that stuff for the movie and stuff you hurry up final touches final touches no i do like the hair i'm not gonna lie i haven't worn my hair out in a long time she's thick she's like a little you know a lot more voluminous she's getting a body She's giving a little bit of shape. I don't have no shape, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's head downstairs. Registration stops at 7.30. It's 7.04. But I can't say um, eating and drinking some water, eating salad, just eating in general and taking a shower helped me wake me up, you know, wake me up a little bit. So I feel a little more energized. <laughs> my hotel room and I am exhausted y'all I'm so tired and I'm so glad I did not do my makeup because I probably would have fell asleep with it on but anyway I'm getting ready to change to my night clothes wash my face I'm gonna chunky twist my hair so I can um, preserve the definition and all that stuff so y'all cannot think or talk I'm actually surprised I was mixing it mixing and mingling downstairs at the at the opening i'm like okay i think it was because i was running off fumes good morning y'all so literally literally my camera died before i got done talking to y'all last night so i was just like all right that's it i'm going to sleep it's actually um 7 21 here and we have to be i have to go to my first panel at nine o'clock so i'm trying to be down there at least by 8 30. so i need a bit of tea wash my face i'm gonna hop in the shower even i took one before i went downstairs yesterday i'm gonna hop in the shower um do some makeup Ooh, can i do all this within an hour i don't know but that is what i want to do so i can get down there at least by 8 30. i'm trying to also make sure this vlog is not gonna be all, all over the place so i'm trying to get footage as well like yesterday i feel like i didn't get a lot of footage because it was, we was traveling all day. You just gonna get something to eat. I was tired. All right, so, so today I'm refreshed and brand new, okay? Oh y'all, yesterday when I got to the hotel, why my body wash spilled all on my, in my suitcase. My body wash spilled all in my suitcase, y'all. So I was able to like clean up. Good thing I had it in this little Ziploc bag, but it still kind of like spilled out a little bit. Good thing I was able to clean it up. But I just hope I, I don't know. Like the clothes, it got some on, on some of my clothes, and it's, it was hot mess. Okay, it was hot mess. Anyway, let me stop rambling so I can go ahead and get myself together. I'm trying to not speak loud because my brother is still asleep. But today is gonna be a great day, so I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> and run down here because yeah it started at nine and we got five minutes and i'll be downstairs but this is hold on i'll show y'all like this this is the whole fit real cute white skirt green top white shoes and this weaving the bag i'm in the rush 
I wanted to get down there at 8.30. Then I changed it to 8.45. Girl, we looking like something. We looking cute. Okay. All right, good morning, everybody. So, we're excited to kick off the first session. Microphones are here, let's use them. So I'm gonna introduce our two of our actors. We may have um, someone else here, depending on what happens. So next up, we have Ayana Lachey. Ayana is based in Atlanta and is an actor, an illustrator, and a beauty content creator. Can I'll give her a, a, a welcome? Good morning, everyone. Um, like I said, this is my first time coming to a No event, so I'm so excited. My name is Ayana Lachey. I am a beauty and content creator. I have Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. I do natural hair videos, makeup videos, a little bit of fashion videos. Um, that's just a way for me to express myself and you know, share my experience a little bit with having albinism. All right, so I want to start off a little bit far as, you know, since this is teens and tweens, growing up with albinism, um, we all know we get the stairs because we're the only one in the classroom, you know, that looks a little different and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I did struggle a little bit growing up with albinism. I couldn't figure out where I could fit in and I didn't know myself that much as well. So I know some people may have experienced bullying as well. I've experienced bullying growing up and it took me a while to work through that and find love within myself and build confidence within myself. As you can see, I'm a lot more confident. I'm a lot more outgoing now. So as you see, I'm speaking right now. So, you know, I would never did this when I was a kid. But yes, yeah, like growing up, I had to find myself and learn how to love me and not worry about what others are thinking about me, what others are saying about me. So if you're anybody in this room that is struggling with, you know, being insecure or just struggling trying to find themselves right now, just remember it takes time. Just do what you love and do what you feel in your heart. And just find something that you really, really love about yourself. I love my hair. I love my complexion. I love everything about me. And that has helped me grow and flourish into who I am today. Fast forward after graduating college, you know, making friends, evolving more into growing into who I am today and my confidence. Um, now I do beauty and um, social media. So I do TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find me on there. I got a lache. I'll be waiting for you. Um, but yes, I do a lot of beauty, like I said, uh, sharing my experience as well with albinism, answering questions online because I know um, social media is so bad. Some people may have never seen anybody with albinism and they might not know what it is. So I try my best to educate um, people who follow me or people who might have run up on my ran over to my page to educate them on what albinism really is because a lot of misinformation is out here so if anybody ever comes to you and be like oh I thought this and this just be kind and just you know correct them because it doesn't just affect you it affects everybody so the next person they see they'll understand what albinism is um, and one thing I would like to leave everybody with um, like I said if you're anybody in this room that is having you know a little bit of issue with trying to find yourself and trying to find your confidence because I know I struggled with that when I was a kid um, just remember Nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody can put a limit on you. Do what you love and do it do it with your whole heart. And remember, it takes time to find who you are, but once you find who you are, it's only up from there. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much. Hi, okay, so what color mascara would you recommend for someone with albinism? Got you, I got you. I'm gonna open up a can of worms and get me started with the beauty, okay? Um, so, depending on what look you're going for, um, there's a lot of color mascaras, but if you're somebody that is not, I know you guys are teens, so maybe not wanna wear too, too much makeup, but um, if you're somebody that's trying to still, like, still look natural and look like yourself, there is a brand called Glisten Cosmetics. It's a UK brand and they have a blonde mascara. I actually did a TikTok and YouTube video on this. It's amazing. 
it's, it's really nice, yes. All right, y'all, so I've made it back to my hotel room. We just finished doing the teens and tweens panel and i was actually quite surprised i enjoyed it a lot um there was actually a lot of kids down there i was able to talk to the keto they asked a lot of questions we were able to just you know talk about it was me and jordan so we were able to just talk about ourselves and what we do um just our story in general with having albinism so it was really really nice and then actually i took some afterwards i took some pictures outside so y'all would see that. I'm trying to get this TikTok together too, y'all. I'm trying to do like a come with me to NoahCon TikTok, but honestly, I just feel like I'm just getting clips, like just random clips. And I feel like it's not telling a story. So I'm like, I'm trying to get it together because I know I'm gonna be like, dang, I wish I would've did this. And then I wasn't able to do it. I figured it out. But anyway, right now we're currently trying to figure out what we want to eat. It is almost 11 o'clock. It's 10.57. The screening for the movie starts at six. And they have a shuttle that leads from the hotel to the theater at five o'clock. So we have about four. So we got five hours. So we try to be down there, be back here by four o'clock if we go on anywhere. But um, that's the plan. I got my little um, outfit that I want to wear. It's this blue suit. I'll show y'all everything when I have it on. But these are the pants and the belt. I put the suit in the, the actual suit itself, I put in this closet because I ended up getting soap on it. Like I told y'all, my soap spilled out. My body wash actually spilled out. I think the stain, well not even a stain, the soap. Okay, it's gone. It's gone, I think. It's just slightly there, slightly still there, but it's just soap, so it's not gonna stain anything. But yes, I'm gonna be wearing my little blue suit. All right, y'all, let me give y'all a little quick fit update. Like I said, soap spilled in my in my bag. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Don't don't mind that. And I need to iron these pants, but I just switched out of that outfit because I did not want to be wearing that up until tonight. But it's got my regular graphic tee, cargo jeans, and my felines, and my um fanny pack. And that's good for now. y'all so we made it to in and out as y'all saw a bunch of people in there i got my little burger see what the hype is about some people be lying this looks like more like crystals yeah i'm not supposed to be eating beef but this is one time guess number 33 and 34 please 33 and 34 yeah this is better than that fat burger i had there's a restaurant down here called Fat Burger. I had got it last year when I was here and it was not good. It was not seasoned. That meat tasted just like plain meat. All right, y'all, so we are actually in the mall. I'm not sure, I think it's called, what's the name of this mall? Bria. Bria Mall. We're gonna just be in here for a little bit just to kill time because I think it's one o'clock, 1.30 and we'll have to be back at the hotel. Uh, at least by four o'clock so we'll leave here around 3 30 but y'all already know where i'm about to be at okay i'm so excited my hair gonna be too big yeah i see that. i think that's too big what's gonna be too big the hat what it look like it look weird don't it it smashed my hair yeah i wouldn't yeah i don't like it y'all they got um little diffusers for the house this one smells really good. I like that one, and I think I like this one. This one smells really good too. Dang, but it's thirty, it's thirty four ninety nine. But it smells good. Which one is this? That's it. I'm just getting my little goodies. I just got the hyaluronic acid and the cinnamon by the ordinary, and my skin fix acne plus BHA cleanser. I don't need to get nothing else. But I might go to the Pandora store and get. I want to get one charm just so I can have it on my bracelet and be like, every time I look at it, I remember that I got it from California. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. We found it. I'll probably put it on there later. So the 18 is usually our average size, so you can try that. But I think it might be around like a 17. I know I said I was going to wait till my birthday to get another charm, but while I'm here, you know, why not? Now when I show my little September charm, I can say I got it while I was in uh, California. And I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be back. Okay, it's bigger than I, I thought. I made it back to the hotel. Um, 
we got here later than what later than what I wanted because now we have to rush. I feel like I've been rushing this whole trip. We need to be downstairs by five o'clock. It is four thirty basically on the dot. We just got back. So I'm gonna try and hurry up. Um I need to switch into my outfit for tonight and brush my teeth so I can make sure my breath is fresh and um I need to head back downstairs. I have to do that within like the next 30 minutes. I'm trying to hurry up. I'm trying to get into turbo mode right quick, right fast. All right, y'all, so I'm trying to hurry up, get ready to head downstairs. This is the whole fit. My blue blazer suit, and I have a white purse. Same white shoes I wore, and um, the hair. Still hearing, okay? So, let me go ahead and I'll change this battery in this camera so y'all are completely charged. And I need to run downstairs like immediately. I will pick back up with y'all when we get to the screening. All right, y'all, so we made it to the theater. As y'all can see, um, they got the red carpet set up. For pictures and everything. Y'all, there are so many people here. I'm scared. I'm scared. Heart beating fast. Real bad. you got involved with the project in the first place? Yes, um, I, I, this story always makes me laugh now. <laughs> but um, originally, Joe reached out to me on the email and I thought it was fake, I thought it was a scam. I was like, <laughs> I don't know about this. So, um, I was like, you know, discarded. And then Jordan, he went to the same high school and he reached out to me, he was like, yeah, um, you know, Joel is you know, trying to put up a movie together, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, let me find an email again. And look at it. Um, so I ended up reaching back out to her, you know, just letting her know I'm a little interested, but I've never acted before, so I don't know if I would be, you know, a good fit for this role. But um, I'm just so happy that Joel saw inside of me, and I think I still have my my footage of auditioning to this day. I have it too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> her audition for Jasmine. It was the scene where you're talking to your mom yeah. and you're like, I paid the money for the lips and all that stuff. Yeah, it was great. She did a wonderful audition. I was like, that's our Jasmine. We are back from the screening. Um, y'all, look at this view. Let me turn that light off so you can see, but I haven't looked at the, uh, the view when it got dark. But we are back from the screening, y'all. I am so tired. Like, every time I come to Los Angeles or California, my timing be so bad. This is the scenery. Let me turn, I might have to turn all the lights off so y'all can see, but we got all the lights up. We're actually getting ready to go to Joe's Crab Shack just to get something to eat before we call it a night. Um, so I'm gonna change out of this suit, put on what I had on earlier, t-shirt and all that stuff. I might just keep the blazer over my arms because it is a little chilly outside right now. All right, y'all, so. This is the fit, same thing from earlier. I'm gonna keep my blazer on because it is a little chilly and I just put my hair in a puff. I might just wear it in a puff until we get back home because it look at like the humidity is getting to it a little bit, but it's still cute. It is the next day. Um, 
It's Saturday. We are getting ready to head to Disneyland, y'all. I'm so excited. I just want to get a little souvenir. I really just want to get the um, the Mickey Mouse ears, you know. And we actually had a panel this morning. It was around nine o'clock. It was around nine o'clock. We had a panel. Um, I was rushing as usual. I feel like I just been like ripping and running since um, we got here. But I was rushing as usual, so I wasn't able to, you know, fill y'all in this morning or get any footage this morning but it was a really nice panel after the panel i came back to the room just to chill for a second because i just feel like we just ripping and running so uh, today is the last day for us to be here so while we're here in california we have to go to the um theme park disneyland and it's 11 minutes from the hotel so that was a no-brainer to go So we made it into um, the Disneyland. I actually had to go back to the hotel because apparently my tripod was considered a, a selfie stick. A selfie stick. Nevertheless, we're back. We're trying to find downtown Disney so I can go to the Disneyland store and see what it got in there. So I was coming to get some um, ears, headband ears. But I like this one because it says Disneyland on it. But I like this one too because it has like flowers on it. But they got a bunch of different kinds this one has theme park on it a hawaiian theme one It has been like two weeks since y'all last saw my vlog footage. I actually forgot to film the ending to the vlog, but when I got back, I ended up getting sick, y'all. So I was out of commission for about two weeks. So this is why the vlog is late. Anywho, I just wanted to go ahead and formally close out this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. I had an amazing time while I was in California. Just wanted to close this vlog out, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what part of this vlog was your favorite down below in the comments. And I will see y'all in my next one.